What I find remarkable of this DNS analysis technology described in the part one of the video is the capability of proactively predicting what DNSs are bad. And what I mean by that, I mean the, the, the engine, the stream and SPSS engine running on this VM is actually analyzing all that uh, live pickup. It's, it's, it's a very good sample of data and that, that real malicious DNS traffic that we replay there. And the algorithm is picking up anomalies. Uh, some of the vectors that I show in video in part one, and there are many others like IP distance uh, or the uh, zone, uh, time zone entropy. Uh, uh, country code and things like that. It might be that in the text field there's command and control. It might be that the TTL, the time to leave on the DNS record, uh, reflects a fax fluxing. fluxing. So any, any of those, but the, 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 the interesting thing is that if we actually take a look at one of these, there are going to be some things that are actually known. This is actually a very well-known uh, Brazilian uh, malicious site. So if we copy that one and we go to the X-Force portal and we paste this one into the X-Force, that one here, and we hit enter, x for most likely, yep, it finds it actually a very high risk. Uh, this is a very well-known actor. But if we go back to the DNSs and pick up anyone else. Uh, let me take the first one, for example. As you see, this uh, Zing Zuzu, zu, what... Uh, oh no, actually, IDN two fishes. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is obviously a DNS design uh, and crafted or created or registered for, uh, for a particular attack. And if we go there, it might be that it hasn't been used. And so I mean, let's actually go and do a search on it on the, on the X-Force. So if we actually paste that domain here and ask the X-Force, it actually finds no information because this DNS has not been used in a way that is actually known out there and, and, and is part of as a, as a bad reputation. But this is, you are patient zero, this is crafted to attack your organization. This technology can actually detect those anomalies on the DNS uh, actual traffic and you get uh, offenses in Curator that alert you about those possible attacks and then you can do proactive things like well the IPS associated with that uh, with that uh, particular uh, DNS type of traffic block it in my IPS as we have shown in other videos we can you can tell the the XGS IPS the Palo Alto Cisco's you can tell them automatically from Curator go ahead and proactively block that you don't need to go have any manually uh, doing so And the reason why this is so important to do is that the bad guys are not going to be, I mean, the preparation phase of the attack can take months. They're going to be doing this type of, you know, ones and twosies type of, uh, of, of attacks. And if you catch those and you proactively block that traffic, they are not going to be able to actually attack you. And the attack is actually what takes the least amount of time. But the preparation phase is when you want to have a technology like Curator finding those anomalies, letting you proactively to work against them.